Well, thank you for joining me at GetChemistryHelp.com. My name is Dr. Kent, and in this video, I'm going to discuss the five main types of chemical reactions. Now, there are a few more specialized categories of chemical reactions that we'll discuss in later lessons, but this is a broad overview of the five big classes of chemical reactions. Now, the first one is a combination or a synthesis reaction, which is just what it sounds like. You've got two or more substances combining together to make a new substance. A decomposition is basically just the opposite, where you have one substance decomposing or breaking apart into two or more substances. A single displacement is where you have one substance being displaced. So notice in this general format, A plus BC goes to AC plus B. So the C was displaced and went from B to A. And a double displacement, that happens twice. So notice in our general format, AB plus CD goes to AD plus BC. So B was displaced to go with C, D was displaced to go with A. So two things were displaced. And the last general type of reaction is a combustion reaction. Now a combustion reaction is going to involve some kind of a hydrocarbon which is just a shorthand way of saying a compound that contains hydrogen and carbon. And it's going to be burning in oxygen. That's the combustion part. And when the carbon burns with oxygen, it makes carbon dioxide. When the hydrogen burns with oxygen, it makes water. So you're always going to have some kind of a hydrocarbon combining with oxygen to make carbon dioxide and water. So let's go through a few examples of each of these five types. So the first general type is combination. Again, two or more things combining to make one new substance. So here we have zinc plus chlorine combines to make zinc chloride. Here's another one. Iron combines with sulfur to make iron two sulfide. So two or more substances combining to make a new substance. Decomposition again is just the reverse. One substance breaking apart into two or more. So here's ammonium chloride, and it's decomposing into ammonia and hydrogen chloride gas. Here's an example with water. So you could take liquid water, run electricity through it, and break it down into two substances, hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. So this is an example of a decomposition reaction. Now for single replacement, remember, there's one part of a substance that moves and becomes part of another substance. So here's zinc plus copper two chloride forming copper plus zinc chloride. So notice the chlorine was with copper and it was displaced and partnered up with the zinc. Here's another example. Magnesium metal reacts with hydroiodic acid to make magnesium iodide plus hydrogen gas. So the iodine was with hydrogen and it was displaced and now it's with the magnesium to make magnesium iodide. Now again, in a double displacement, this happens twice. So notice silver nitrate plus potassium bromide goes to silver bromide and potassium nitrate. So the bromide was with potassium and it moved over here with the silver to make silver bromide. The nitrate was with the silver and it moved over with potassium to make potassium nitrate. So two different things were displaced, so it's a double displacement. Now another specialized type of double displacement, which we'll spend more time on in a future video, is an acid plus a base. So here we have hydrochloric acid combines with sodium hydroxide to produce sodium chloride and water. So the hydroxide was with sodium then it went over here and combined with the H plus in hydrochloric acid to make water. The chloride was with the hydrochloric acid and it went over here to combine with the sodium to make sodium chloride. So two things were displaced. That's a double displacement. And our fifth classification of reaction is a combustion reaction. So again, this is where we have a hydrogen carbon containing compound or what's called a hydrocarbon just for short burns in oxygen in the air to make carbon dioxide and water. So here's an example. This is methane gas. So methane, when you burn it with oxygen, you're going to produce carbon dioxide and water. 
Here's another hydrocarbon. This one is called propane gas. So propane is a very similar pattern. It combines with oxygen. The carbons and oxygens make carbon dioxide. The hydrogens and oxygens make water. Now let's go through a few examples and just pick out which type of reaction is each of these examples. So here's carbon combining with oxygen to make carbon dioxide. Now at first glance it almost looks like a combustion reaction because we have some carbon and oxygen combining. But remember for a combustion reaction you got to have a hydrocarbon, carbon and hydrogen combining with oxygen to make carbon dioxide and water. So in this case we just have two different substances combining to make one substance. So this would just be a straight up combination reaction. In example two we've got copper two chloride plus sodium sulfide producing copper two sulfide and sodium chloride. Well the sulfur was with the sodium, now it's with the copper. The chlorine was with the copper, now it's with the sodium. So two things were displaced, so this would be a double displacement reaction. How about example three? What general type of reaction is this? Well we have nickel two sulfite forming nickel two oxide and sulfur dioxide gas. Well I have one substance forming two substances. So that sounds like decomposition. How about number four? I've got a carbon and hydrogen containing compound reacting with oxygen to make carbon dioxide and water. So that is definitely a combustion reaction. And our last example, I've got calcium plus lead two chloride reacting to form calcium chloride plus lead. Okay, well notice the chlorine was with the lead, then it went over to be with the calcium to make calcium chloride. So one part of the substance was displaced, so this would be a single displacement reaction. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson on types of chemical reactions. In future videos, we are going to discuss some more specialized types of reactions. So be sure and click on the subscribe button so you can be notified as soon as new videos are posted. Also, I'd love to hear from you, so leave me a comment down below. And we'll see you back here next time at GetChemistryHelp.com. Thank you.